In this video, I will show you the best render settings for Olive. Let's go! What's up everybody, my name is Marcus and I'm a video editor. I'm someone who loves video editing. And right now I got here myself a clip. Let's play it. And we have like cross dissolve there, a transition. So let's click here on a file, export. And what we got here? You can uh, export format. Uh, I stay on here, on here, like MPG4 video. You can also export audio if you want. It's completely up to you. And now you have a range. You can render entire sequence, like that's a whole clip you got, or in and out. When you click in and out, it will render only the things which you want to be rendered for. So I'm going to press E and here out so again i want for example only this render i am with the red line here i'm pressing i and now i'm going to for example here and i will press o so this will be rendered only but um, we are going to render the whole sequence again uh, this will stay like this and now the most important things is quality the lower the quality the better so let's say that when you are for example at 50 the quality is the really bad when you are on a zero the quality is a really top from 10 to 15 is the best one i will show you why because from 10 to zero the quality is not that different so let's say that we will start with the quality 50 and we are going to render it desktop and this will be five entire sequence and we will go with the quality of 30. Let's see. Okay, and we would go with a 4. Okay, let's go uh, not with a 30 now. We will go with a 20. And we are going to get it number 3. When we have the 3, let's go and let's export on a 13 and we are going to export it number two. Oh, sorry. I should have go with the entire sequence and number 13 and number two. Yes. It's also the quality is really similar and let's go with the zero. Now an entire sequence and it will go with a number one as you could see it's much the rendering is much longer like 15 20 seconds much more right now we are in a folder and it's all being rendered as you could see this fi this five is the quality of uh, 50 four is the quality of 30 3 is quality of 20, the 2 is the quality of 12, and the 1 is the quality of 0, the most maximal quality. And let's see how it all looks like. Number 5, like it's pretty bad. <laughs> Number 4 is better, but it seems like 360 quality or 128 quality the colors are not that great so this was 50 30 and let's go for 20 20 is much better but i can still see some instances but it wasn't that good i mean the colors are great but I sometimes I see a little bit of blur and let's go next and this is like the best from 10 to 15 I would go always because right now Opa, sorry it's see. see it's much better the colors are epic and they are really amazing 
Will you join me? A wolf. And now let's go for the zero. And it's like, okay, let's play number one. Let's go like this and let's play together. If we are going to see a difference. So this is the number two. This is 13. Stay. And this is, let's go. Wait a second. Yeah, the difference is not that high. So, but, but this is like, when you have a game footage, go with uh, from 10 to 15. When you have a, a drone footage, let's say that you have a nature or you have uh, like plenty of colors and you want to be like the top notch quality, like documentary quality of really special uh, video. Go with zero to five, all right? And this is the tutorial on how render settings works in Olive. If you enjoyed this video, I would be pretty happy if you subscribe. And if you subscribe, write me in the comments what we'd like to learn in uh, Olive, and I will make a tutorial on that. Thank you all. I'm really happy that you are here with me. And see you in the next video editing or photo editing tutorial. Goodbye, my friends.